Hello friends, today I am going to read you a story. And the story name is A Girl Named Nisi. And this is a true story about a ballerina. And her name is Miss P. Copeland by Kelly Startling Leons. A Girl Named Misty. Now let's see the introduction. Misty Copeland loved to dance. Growing up, Misty was a shy African-American girl who blended into the background of a big family. Little did she know that one day she would be a star. From the start, the passion inside Misty shone through each twirl and leap. Dancing made her feel free and strong. This quiet little girl's talent would lead her to become a groundbreaking dancer at one of the top companies in the world. Now, let's see the chapter 1. Chapter 1. Finding Her Shine Change was part of Misty's childhood. Born on September 10, 1982 in Kanas City. Missouri, she moved with her mom, Sylvia, Della, Serena, and siblings to Southern California when she was two. Over, over the years, they moved between apartments and houses. Sometimes, Misty's family had to make do with little money. With two brothers, a big sister, and a younger brother and sister, Misty had to share her mom's attention. Misty lit up when her mom complimented something she had done. She pushed herself to be perfect in school, but worries nagged her. What if she wasn't best? Was sorry. It was. What if they moved again? At home in San Pedro, California, seven. Year old Misty was watching tel- TV when a movie about Olymp- Olympian gymnastic Nadia gymnastic Nadia Comen Misty. Come on, her flips. Her flips, spins, and leaps across the floor amazed Misty. Watching Nadia's mix of acrobatics and dance made her want to move like that too. In the yard, Misty taught herself how to do cartwheels and handstands. She was able to master gymnastic moves with a little effort. Misty pretended to perform for an ad audience and imagined their roaring applause when she did all her moves just right. Something special filled Misty's heart when she heard Maria Carly sing Carsi's song too. She felt like a connection to Maria who was Biracial like she was. Who, who was biracial like she was? Misty's mom and dad were both half black, half white. Seeing someone who looked like her being successful and achieving her own dream inspired Misty. When Misty made up dances in her bedroom, she was able to act out the words and feelings as the music flowed through her. It was like a light flipped on inside her and she began to shine. Misty's worries about school, money and where they lived disappeared as she danced. This is the end of chapter 1. We'll see you in the next video.
Thank you. Bye-bye.